Hey guys, back for another recipe out of 30 minute paleo meals. Today we're going to do a paste that includes a recipe, but we got to do this first. And it's called Spicy Herrera's Space Paste. This is what it looks like. That is the paste that we're going to use. And here is the recipe. Maybe you guys can pronounce it better than me. But that is the first part of this uh, recipe is making this paste so I have never used these before this is going to be brand new ingredients to all to me got the scissors here really quickly so we're going to do eight dry um I don't even know how to pronounce this word gorna gorna oh, jello I don't know but this is it this is the first thing we're going to do is open these up and grab eight of these so it just says boil uh stemmed steamed so we're gonna just probably put eight of these in here there's how many three four five six six is good enough <laughs> and then we need eight of these and this is chile de arbolo eight of these this definitely has enough in it there's a whole bag of them this is going to be very spicy one two three four five six seven eight they don't have much smell to them now but now we're going to take um, some boiling water, and I've got that on the stove here. And we're just going to pour this in here. And let this soak for about 20 minutes. So let me put this under the water here. I'm going to get these to go under the water. They'll probably start to wilt. But we'll be back in about 20 minutes to check on these chiles. And then to do the next part of this um, recipe. Interesting. Okay, now guys, we're over the stove now at medium-high heat. And we're going to add one tablespoon of coriander seed. I know the lighting is horrible. Let me see if I can fix it a little bit. One teaspoon of coriander seed. I had to order this on my new app I'm using. It's called Instacart. <laughs> so I'm a little bit more bougie now. I don't leave the house very much. I just have it delivered to my house. So one teaspoon of that, and then one teaspoon of cumin. Oh, it's cumin seeds, not cumin. Ground cumin. Let me see if I have cumin seeds. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Ah. Can't hold it. I was going to say, catch! <laughs> okay, okay, I gotta focus here. We got. You want them to hear me open any cookies on your camera? No, but I think I'm recording. Yes, I am recording. Okay, I forgot to add these seeds here. These are caraway seeds. I've never used these either. And this is um, one teaspoon also on the stove. So I'm gonna quickly put these on here. such a weird recipe. So many spices I've never used before. Okay, so <laughs> now we're going to use this grinder here, hopefully, if I read it right. Yes. So we're going to do Okay. So we got the spices are going to be done here in a minute. And then we're going to put some mint in here. Let me 
some fresh mint. It smells so good. Now Kyle make me a mojito. With some fresh mint. So, oh, it smells so good. On the mint, you're supposed to do uh, one teaspoon of mint. I'm just going to take a few of these leaves and put them in here. I love mint. I think it's my favorite um, plant. I don't like basil. I don't like cilantro. I'm not a big fan of basil either. I think mint is my favorite. So, so we're doing the mint here. I'm just uh, I'll be taking. So mint, I just love it. it smells so good. Mm. I gotta think of other recipes to use for mint. These toasted seeds here, and we're gonna put them in here. Did you see how high she jumped? My cat is acting crazy. We have the back uh, sliding door. It's like the, just the, what is it called? What? It's, the sliding door is not completely open, but it's, she's jumping after birds that so she's not gonna get. This is what my cat is doing. Right now, we're going to add the cumin to here really quickly, so don't forget that. Make sure I shut off the uh, stove. There's our teaspoon of cumin. <clears throat> now we're going to grind this up into a powder. cat is going crazy. I've never seen her jump that high. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so we're just going to set this aside. This looks fantastic. Smells pretty good. That cumin was a little strong, but okay. And then we're going to take my food processor and we're going to get the chilies and then the rest of the ingredients to mix in the paste. So I'm going to put you on a brief pause here for a second while I get my food processor. Okay, so I've got all the chilies in the food processor now. They're all steamed. I left the seeds in. It says, it doesn't say to remove the, it says drain the chilies and that's it. And then put them in the food processor. Combine this chili, the spice, so we're going to add the spice in now. Let me get my spatula here and see if that will help. Yeah, i got to get some more of this off of there. There we go. And now we're going to add the lemon juice, which is um, four lemons. So let me grab the lemons here. Okay. Quick thing here. Grab the cutting board here. Grab my knife. I don't want to put the seeds in there. I got one seed in there. Two seeds in there. It's okay. This one's got lots of seeds in there too. Not as prepared as I have been in other videos here. Kind of going as I usually have the um, lemons already good to go. Trying 
to get these seeds out of there. And then we're going to add olive oil. This looks like it's going to be, and this, you can refrigerate this paste for up to a month. So this is good. We're making a lot of it today for future recipes, I guess. I don't know what else you would use this paste for, but we'll find something if it tastes good. Grab two more really quickly here. Sorry, don't have this already. Good to go. And this is just the first part of the recipe. We still got to do the main part of it. So this is just the paste for this recipe. Dang it. Just a few lemon seeds in there. Nothing too bad. Okay. And then we're going to add in the olive oil, which is three tablespoons of olive oil. So I got my Kirkland's extra virgin olive oil. And. <clears throat> three tablespoons of this here and then four garlic cloves which I don't have actual garlic but I do have this fancy thing here Kirkland's again. Do about four big scoops of this. So spice. There we go. Now we're going to do the fun part and smooth it out and see what happens here. Smooth puree until smooth, it says. Smells like a lot of different flavors in there. Got it plugged in. but it's still getting like just a full steamed shell in there and I don't know I'm gonna let it go again we're just gonna keep doing it until we get I mean there's enough liquid in there so that's good what I forgot to do is that chip that one uh oh. I forgot to add in this. This is a Sergino Sergino Serino Chile. And it was supposed to be steamed too. But we're gonna add it right in now. <laughs> Here we go.
Okay, now we're going to start the actual main dish. So it's black, it's sea bass with tahani heart hasrista cumin sauce is what it's called. So that is the actual recipe that we're going to do today. Um, I'm preheating the oven to a broil and the rack needs to be on the top shelf and then I am lining a bake sheet with aluminum foil. So doing that right now. So got that. And then we're going to take a large bowl here. And then we're going to, in this large bowl, we're going to combine some of the paste that we just made. A half a cup of it. So let me get... Here is half a cup. And then I'll show you guys the paste. This took like probably a good... 10 minutes to make this paste but it smells really good it smells very hot <laughs> so hopefully ooh, it turns out okay I'm gonna grab this spatula and I kind of make a mess here and see if I can get some of this paste out of here. I know I'm blocking your view here, but there we go. There's the paste. So we're gonna it says to put this in a large bowl. So there's majority of the paste there. I'm gonna throw this over here. And then we're going to add honey. So I have my raw unfiltered honey and we're going to add in one tablespoon of this. So bear with me. I'm going to wait for this honey to come out. I used honey on a cold sore and it really kind of worked. It actually kind of deterred it from like hurting all day. I just kind of brushed it on the cold sore and it worked really good underneath my tongue. And it worked really, really good. I liked it. And then we're going to add cumin. Add some more cumin. This is actual cumin powder this time. One tablespoon. So let me go rinse this out really quickly. Half of the ingredients, like our last recipe did. There we go. We got a tablespoon of cumin. And then we're going to add in salt and mix well. So salt is about fourth of a teaspoon. There we go. I'm just going to use this spoon here to mix it in. I got a big chunk of shell, or not shell, but uh, the casings. I'm just going to get rid of that really quickly here. Sorry about the car horn, if you guys can hear it. I have no idea. Did I get another big case? No, nope, peel of casing. Nah, that's okay. We're okay there. Okay, so now we're going to says add the black sea salt, the sea bass, and marinate in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. So we're going to add the sea bass to this paste here. Let me grab All right, right here. These are pretty big pieces. I'm going to cut this up and okay, so now we're going to try and get this covered in this paste, I guess. Get me messy here. There we go. So we're going to let this marinate for about 20 minutes, it says. 
and then we'll work on some paste some more paste that we gotta do so I'm gonna wash my hands really quickly put this in the refrigerator and then we'll work on See if I can grab another bowl. Okay. That small bowl. You should be able to fit this one. We'll see what, if it works. Whisk together the tahini, which is a half a cup of tahini right here. I got, I've had this for a while now. I love the smell of this. Half a cup. Hmm. Let me get this cleaned out here. And then half a cup of this. A lot. Maybe I'll use it all. That'll be good. There we go. Just checking for a date on this. Okay. And then we're going to add in water, which is um, a fourth of a cup. Fourth of a cup. Perfect. And then we're going to add in lemon juice, which is how many lemons? One lemon. <laughs> so I've got my lemon here. I had one left. Let me go ahead and cut this really quickly here. Where did I do with my knife? Oh, right here. Definitely going to get the seeds out of this one here. Try to anyways. Okay. For a girl who doesn't like lemons, they sure do use a lot of lemons in this recipe. I'm going to try to dig this few out really quickly here. I don't know. Okay, so now we're going to add in cayenne pepper. Perfect. And salt until smooth. Add more water if you prefer a thicker um, consistency. And salt. I gotta add in the salt. And the salt is a three-fourths. Here we go. I wonder why the water would thicken it though. Oh, a thinner consistency, sorry. I read it wrong. <laughs> These sauces are very weird. Okay, there we go, and now we're going to add an, uh, do another sauce, it doesn't smell very good, and then I'm just going to grab one of these bowls here, oh, we never set the timer for our fish, did we, 
probably been about five minutes. So here's another bowl for the rest of our... So now we're going to add more of the paste. That's the oven. So now we're going to add a fourth of a cup of paste. So let's try this again here, guys. I don't want that big old chunk of stem. Okay, there we go. Some more paste. And then we're going to add honey. And how much honey this time? One tablespoon of raw honey. So more honey. I don't mind the honey. And then we're going to add cumin and one teaspoon, one teaspoon of cumin. So two cumin, one teaspoon. There we go. And then we're going to mix this, this uh, mix this in. And then we're going to wait for that fish to marinate and then we're going to broil the fish for three to five minutes or until crispy and cooked through and then the paste just drizzles on top of it both of them so we'll see what happens we're gonna wait for that um, 20 minutes another 12 minutes and then we'll bring you guys back and see what's going on okay guys now it finally is time to get out the marinated fish here we're going to here it is we're going to put it on this my oven and then we're going to cook this for three to five minutes or until the fish is fully cooked if I can get this out of there there we go well at least the fish looks like it's really caked on the paste so there'll be some seasoning there for sure so we're going to put this in the oven on the top rack for three to five minutes or until crispy and cooked through okay cook time gonna do five minutes i'm gonna do my safeguard sometimes my oven goes a little crazy and then we're almost done to try it so we just put the fish in the oven um, it was covered with the paste it looked really good as you could see but I didn't have the voice on so we'll be back in about five minutes to test this recipe finally out okay guys this is our sea bass with tahini has rista cumin sauce so I'm gonna try the fish without any of the sauce extra sauce on it I'm going to try it first, see if I like just the plain old fish first. Flavor is good, it's pretty hot. <laughs> I don't want to add any more sauce onto it. Still very fishy, but that sauce, I don't know if I'm going to like this tahini sauce. 
I'm just going to take, take a spoon of it first to make sure. So I'm just going to... Ah. No. That tastes like aluminum. That is not good. I don't think that tahini was good. No. That tastes like raw aluminum. That was bad. Okay, let's try this sauce now. The extra sauce that we made. Let me clean this spoon first. Woo! That sauce is hot. That just the strip of sauce. That is hot. Let me try it again. So that's just the honey, the sauce, and the salt and the cumin. Wow. Oh my gosh, my mouth is on fire right now. <laughs> that is hot. So yeah, I would not be adding any more sauce to this fish already. But I'll have my husband try it and see if he likes it. But I kind of liked the salmon better yesterday than this. But maybe it's just because I like salmon better than cod, um, cod sea bass. But it's pretty good. It's healthy. Not my favorite. But thanks for watching, guys. Bye.